I've been hired by Mr. Beast himself to do this effect. It's a classic Mr. Beast trope. A quick punch of engagement, a quick slap of visual flair, and this video is sponsored by Squarespace. My first job with Mr. Beast ever was the blind video and to do the sequence where they're going through all of the names of the countries. I wanted to provide this to as many people as possible. So I not only learned the Mr. Beast pop-up effect, I perfected it. And I nailed it, baby. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Bam. We will be going over the Honduras title pop-up for this example here. So I have this short clip at the end here because I'm gonna use like this, these first three-fourths of this clip just to speed up. So if I'm gonna speed up all of this, I will cut the clip right here and drag it for about like, I don't know, seven seconds because that's how long we'll hold on the title card. So we will click on this clip and name it Honduras Animation. What we're gonna do is click on that clip and come over to the tracker panel and hit track camera. And once everything is tracked, you'll see your Skittles, which are the colorful tracking points. I have named them Skittles, that is not their technical term, they're just called tracking points. Skittles is way cuter. All right, so we're gonna find a good spot where we want the text to pop up. I'm gonna pick right here. So I'm gonna right click on this panel and hit create text in camera. You can see my text layer pop up. I will rotate it towards the camera. And we will just like position it where we want it to be. And I will change this to Honduras. And now if we watch this back, you can see that Honduras is perfectly tracked into um, Honduras. I changed the font too, because I feel like this is like one of the most important parts. If we go to dafont.com, which is a free font website, you can actually look up the font, the Mr. Beast font and download it for yourself. It's called Comica. Here it is, Comica Access. So you'll just obviously want to download that. Once you have Comica Access installed, click on your, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. Click on Honduras and type in Comica and hit OK. Incredible. You can scale it down, you know. Don't want this to be too crazy. I'm gonna show you how to turn the Honduras text into the Honduran flag. It's actually so smart. Are you guys ready? Okay, so if we click on our Honduras layer and go to effects and presets and type in fill, we'll just drag that effect onto Honduras. It's gonna automatically default it to red, but we are gonna change it to teal because that is the color of the Honduran flag. Gorgeous. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the rectangle tool at the very top and we are gonna create a line through the middle like this. And this is like the coolest tip in the world. If we hit the letter E on Honduras, it'll drop down the fill effect in the layers panel right here. Let's drop down all the info on fill and scroll to the bottom. Do you see compositing options? If we hit plus, the effect that we applied will only be applied to the mask. And so if we um, take this mask and invert it, Bam, we have the Honduran flag as the word Honduras. We're gonna right click on Honduras, go up to layer styles and hit um, stroke all the way here at the bottom. And then that will just apply a stroke to the entire layer, not just the text. So let's change the stroke to black because if we look at all the references of Mr. Beast pop-up text, there's a fat stroke. Oh, amazing. Wow, this looks incredible. We have the Honduran flag as the word Honduras, 3D tracked into Honduras. And now we will begin the actual animation process. First things first, we'll go to the effects and presets panel and type in transform. We're gonna click on that and drag it onto our Honduras layer. Now, we will duplicate our Honduras layer. And on the top layer, we are gonna create a keyframe for scale. And then we'll go over a few frames and then just crank scale up will make Honduras giant. Let's watch that back. Oh, by the way, make sure your um, motion sensitivity boxes are checked so you get that nice motion blur. You can see when that box is checked, when Honduras actually shoots up, you see that it actually has nice realistic motion blur. And now if we click on the Honduras layer and hit T to bring up opacity, we can create a keyframe for when the scale starts and when it ends. Looks beautiful. Now we can fine tune these keyframes. So on scale, I'll easy ease the right one 
and kind of have it slow down when it's getting bigger. That looks pretty good. I think I can actually slow it down a bit. Maybe I'll even easy ease the first scale keyframe. Okay, this is looking really nice. I like the pacing. I think a good final touch is if we hit P and create a keyframe for position, and as it gets big and disappears, we just kind of have it go up a little bit. And once you have the impact that you like, let's grab our top Honduras layer, click on the Pick Whip tool, and link it to the first Honduras layer. And now what we can do is right before this top Honduras layer pops out, we can scale up the bottom layer. So on this first one, if we hit a position for scale and then go back like five frames and hit zero, when it pops in, it automatically shoots the next one out. And now we can just play around with these scaling keyframes. And if you put them like right underneath of when the thing pops out, bam you've got this perfect text pop. Once you have the text impact that you like, let's pre-compose this layer and call it impact text and check the sunset right here. So um, all of your effects stay the same. And if we turn that pre-composed layer into a 3D layer, we can duplicate it, rotate it on the X axis. Basically, we're about to create the shadow and we'll bring that down into the ocean. Grab the fill effect, make all of this black. Grab the Gaussian blur, make that real blurry. And then take our opacity and make it super subtle, just so there's a bit of a shadow. And now if we zoom all the way out, remember this is actually a super long clip. So now if we hit Control A and pre-compose everything, we'll name this our speed ramp. All right, let's enable time remapping on this layer and create a keyframe where Honduras starts to pop out. We will just bring these last two keyframes so close to the first one. And we will easy ease in this last keyframe. We will make the speed graph ramp look like that, a nice little slope. Now if we watch that back, we have a speed ramp straight into a text reveal. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do the Mr. Beast pop-up text effect. Don't hate me, Mr. Beast, I've revealed one of your secrets. You're seriously my favorite client that I have. I fangirl every morning I wake up knowing that people have seen my animations in Mr. Beast videos. So happy editing, everybody. Hope you learned something new today. My name is Will Carmack, shout out Mr. Beast, and my amazing sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Listen here, everybody. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. You have online stores all the way to marketing tools and analytics. And guys, let's say you want to be as good of a business owner as Mr. Beast. You can create online stores with Squarespace. And not only can you sell digital products like LUTs, motion graphic templates, even your own music. You can upload anything physical that you've created or want to sell yourself. So do you knit sweaters? You can sell it on your online store. Oh, what are you waiting for? You can make an online store with Squarespace today. And what coincides perfectly with that is the fact that Squarespace has custom merch. So if you want to like connect with your audience through giving them something to wear, you can do it through Squarespace and they handle the inventory and shipping. So if you want to be like Mr. Beast, sell lots of merch, do it with the custom merch feature in Squarespace. For all of you content creators out there, there are members only sections that you can add into your Squarespace website. This is where you can upload exclusive bonus content because it's in the members only section of your website. You can start monetizing by selling memberships to your exclusive stuff. Great way to make passive income to start affording the things you've always wanted. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Hope everyone learned something new today. If you made it this far, comment, um, Mr. Beast is super rad. Don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.